Do you want to break into the world of web development? Do you want to make a career out of building websites and web applications? Then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top six tips and tricks for becoming a successful web developer. Whether you're just starting out or you're looking to take your skills to the next level, these tips will set you up for success. Get ready to level up. As a web developer, it's essential to have a strong foundation in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These are the building blocks of the web, and understanding how they work is crucial for creating modern, user-friendly websites. Now, you might be wondering where to start. There are plenty of resources out there for learning the basics. You could start right here on my YouTube channel, but the main single source of truth will always be the technology's documentation. So for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I recommend the MDN docs. It's kind of like reading the dictionary, but all of the info that you need is there. Or if you're like me, you'll need a little more help. And that's where you can reach out to blog articles, videos, and courses. My recommendation is to find the resources that work for you. Some people learn by reading, some are visual learners and prefer videos, or maybe you like a mix of both. Now, a lot of people ask me how long it will take them to learn the basics, and my answer is always the same. It depends. Everyone has different circumstances and varying amounts of time to dedicate to learning, but take as much time as you need. It's extremely important that you are comfortable with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before moving on to more advanced topics. Everything else is based off of these, so if you skip over parts, you'll end up hurting yourself in the long run. And don't be afraid to ask for help if you get stuck. There are plenty of online communities and forums where you can find support. One community where you can find help is in my Discord server. There's a link in the description below. Now, the key is to be patient and practice, practice, practice. The more you work with these languages, the more comfortable and confident you'll become. And before you know it, you'll be able to build great websites. So if you're serious about becoming a successful web developer, make sure to spend some time mastering the basics and it will pay off in the long run. The web development industry is constantly evolving and so it's important to keep learning new skills to stay competitive. There are always new frameworks, new libraries, and technologies being developed and it can be overwhelming to try to keep up with everything. But here's the thing, you don't have to know everything. It's impossible to know everything about web development, and trying to do so will only burn you out. So instead, focus on the technologies that are relevant to your industry and the projects that you're working on. So how do you stay informed about the latest technologies? Well, here's a few ways. First, follow blogs and online communities related to web development, like my YouTube channel and my blog and my newsletter. You can also attend meetups and conferences to network with other developers and learn about new technologies. Another way is by experimenting with new technologies on your own to see how they work and how they might fit into your workflow. And it's also important to remember that learning new technologies is a continuous process. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. You never know where it might lead you. So make sure to stay up to date with the latest technologies, but at the same time, don't spread yourself too thin. Focus on the technologies that are relevant to your industry and keep learning and growing as a developer. As a web developer, it's important to have a personal website or portfolio to showcase your skills and projects. This is your opportunity to show potential clients or employers what you're capable of and make a great first impression. So what makes a strong online presence? Well, here are a few things to keep in mind. Use a clean and modern design. A cluttered or outdated website can be a turnoff to potential clients or employers. Also, make sure you've tested your website and make sure all the links work. And please make sure that it's responsive and looks good on mobile devices too. Be sure to highlight your experience and achievements. Your website should include a section outlining your experience and accomplishments as a web developer. This could include information about your education, previous projects, and any relevant certifications or awards. But please do not include those progress bars that you see sometimes with arbitrary percentages of skill levels. These never made sense to me and should never be used. Let your work speak for itself. You should also showcase your work. A portfolio of your work is a crucial part of your online presence. Make sure to include examples of websites or applications that you've built, along with any relevant details about the project. 
And lastly, keep it up to date. It's important to keep your online presence up to date with your latest projects and skills. Be sure to regularly update your website or portfolio to show that you're actively working as a web developer. So a strong online presence can be the difference between getting hired or missing out on an opportunity. So take the time to create a professional looking website or portfolio and keep it up to date to showcase your skills as a web developer. In addition to your personal website or portfolio, it's also important to have a strong presence on social media platforms like Twitter, LinkedIn, and GitHub. These platforms can be valuable tools for building your personal brand and connecting with other developers in the industry. Twitter is like a microblogging platform that allows you to share updates, engage with other users, and discover new content. So on Twitter, you should follow industry leaders and influencers to stay up to date with latest trends and technologies. You can also share updates about your work, including links to your portfolio and projects. Another thing is to engage with other developers by retweeting their content, answering questions, and joining in on relevant conversations. Now, LinkedIn is a professional networking platform, and it allows you to connect with other professionals in your industry find job opportunities, and showcase your skills and experience. On LinkedIn, you should set up a professional profile that includes information about your skills, experience, and education. You can also use it to connect with other developers, industry professionals, and potential clients or employers. And be sure to share updates about your work, including links to your profile and projects. Now, GitHub is an essential tool for any web developer. It allows you to not only share your code, but collaborate on open source projects and discover new projects and libraries. On GitHub, you should be sure to set up your profile to include information about your skills and experience, and you can do some really cool things on your profile page. And I have a couple of videos that will walk you through how to set up your GitHub profile page. On GitHub, you should share your code by creating repositories for your projects and collaborate on open source projects and contribute to other repositories. Now, an excellent resource to help you get started contributing to open source projects on GitHub is Eddie Jowd. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel to learn more. There's a link in the description. Maintaining a presence on social media has personally provided me with tons of opportunities. So be sure to set up profiles on these platforms and keep them up to date with your latest projects and skills. Share updates and engage with the community to build your personal brand as a web developer. Now, one of the best ways to learn and grow as a developer is to connect with other developers in the industry. Building relationships with other developers can open up opportunities for collaboration, learning, professional growth, job opportunities, and so much more. So how do you meet and connect with other developers? Here's a few ideas. Join online communities like the one that I host in my Discord server. Attend meetups and conferences. These are great opportunities to meet other developers in person and learn about new technologies and trends. Look for meetups and conferences in your area or consider attending virtual events if you can't travel. I've made so many great connections this way. Another idea is to collaborate on open source projects. Open source projects are a great way to meet other developers and contribute to the community. Look for projects that align with your interests and skills and consider contributing code or documentation. Another idea is to find a mentor. A mentor can be a valuable resource for learning and growing as a developer. Look for someone who has experience in the industry and is willing to share their knowledge with you. Networking and collaboration with other developers is a key part of becoming a successful web developer. So don't be afraid to reach out and connect with others. It can lead to amazing opportunities, help you grow as a developer, and you'll make lots of great friends along the way. Now, as a web developer, you're going to encounter problems and setbacks. It's just part of the job, but it's important to remember that failure is just an opportunity to learn and grow. By developing problem-solving skills and a mindset of continuous learning, you can turn failures into opportunities for growth. So how do you develop a problem-solving mindset as a developer? Here's a few tips. Break problems down into smaller, manageable chunks. When you're faced with a complex problem, it can be helpful to break it down into smaller pieces and tackle each piece individually. This can help you to identify the root cause of the problem and come up with a solution. Another thing is to learn from your mistakes. When you encounter a problem or setback, take the time to reflect on what went wrong and what you can learn from it. By analyzing your mistakes and learning from them, you'll become a better problem solver, which is basically what a web developer is, a problem solver. 
Another tip is to use Google to find solutions. Google is your best friend. When you're stuck on a problem, chances are someone else has encountered that same problem before. Use Google to search for solutions and don't be afraid to reach out to online communities like Stack Overflow for help. And if all else fails, don't be afraid to ask for help. If you've hit a wall and you can't find a solution, don't be afraid to reach out to one of your colleagues. Other developers around you may have encountered the same problem or they may be able to at least point you in the right direction. So by developing problem solving skills and a mindset of continuous learning, you can turn failures into opportunities for growth as a web developer. So don't be afraid to fail, embrace it as a chance to learn and grow. Now, one of the most important things that you can do to become a successful web developer is to get hands-on experience. There's no substitute for building websites and applications yourself. And the more you practice, the better you'll become. So how do you get practice as a web developer if you don't have a job? Here's a few ideas. Build personal projects. Personal projects are a great way to hone your skills and experiment with new technologies. Think about a website or application that you'd like to build and start working on it. Don't worry about making it perfect. The goal is to learn and have fun. You could also participate in hackathons. Hackathons are events where you can work with a team to build a project in a short amount of time. They're a great way to get experience working on a team and to learn new skills. You could also contribute to open source projects. We've already talked about this a few times already, but it comes in handy here as well. Open source projects are a great way to practice your skills and give back to the community. Look for projects that align with your interests and skills. So don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and start building. The more you practice, the better you'll become. And remember, the goal is to learn and have fun. So don't worry about making everything perfect. Practicing your skills is a crucial part of becoming a successful web developer. So get out there and start building. Build, build, build. Remember, building a strong foundation in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is crucial, and it's important to stay up to date with the latest technologies. Building a strong online presence, networking, and collaborating with other developers, and practicing your skills are all key to success as a web developer. So don't be afraid to get out there and start building. With dedication and hard work, you can become a successful web developer. Thanks for watching. Never stop learning and never give up.